Hi, I'm the Tax Geek, and these are your taxes oversimplified. In this video, I'm going to take a look at deductible medical expenses. Most of the time, deducting medical expenses is not all that easy because to be deductible, medical expenses must exceed 7.5% of your adjusted gross income. This video looks at five medical expenses that can potentially be very large and are not generally covered by any sort of insurance. So, without further delay, here are five medical expense deductions you didn't think you could take. Number one, transportation and lodging expenses. This falls into two categories, local auto mileage and long distance transportation. Local automobile mileage is deductible at the rate of 16 cents per mile driven, plus tolls and parking. Local mileage alone is not normally enough to make your medical expenses deductible. But if you have other expenses that exceed the 7.5% threshold, auto mileage can add significantly to your deductible expenses. Remember, this includes every trip to doctors, dentists, eye doctors, hospitals, and pharmacies. The key is to keep track, either with a log or a mileage tracking app. If you have to travel long distance for medical services you cannot receive locally, you are able to deduct the total cost of transportation for you and one companion if you cannot travel alone. This can be auto mileage or bus, train, or plane fares. The primary purpose of the trip must be for the medical treatment and not incidental to other travel. Lodging and incidentals on such a trip are also deductible for you and one companion, but that deduction is limited to $50 per day per person. Meals on these trips are never deductible. Number 2. Fertility Treatments Fertility treatments can easily run into the tens of thousands of dollars, especially if in vitro fertilization is involved. These expenses are almost never covered by medical insurance, but they are fully deductible. These expenses include the treatments themselves, any pharmaceuticals, counseling, and as mentioned previously, any auto travel or transportation expenses. Number three, gender reassignment. In 2010, the tax court ruled that persons diagnosed with gender identity disorder may deduct any costs associated with hormone therapy and sex reassignment surgery as medical expenses. The cost of breast or chest reconstruction should also be deductible as long as it is part of the doctor's treatment plan. Even though the IRS has affirmed the tax court's decision, 20 years later there is still no mention that the procedure is deductible in publication 502, which details what is and isn't deductible as a medical expense. Number 4. Disability Related Expenses the total cost of any alteration you have to make to your home to accommodate a disability is fully deductible as a medical expense. This can include widening doorways, lowering countertops, installing walk-in hubs, exterior ramps, interior stair lifts, or elevators. If you incur additional costs to a personal item to accommodate a disability, those costs are also deductible. For example, the cost of a braille book over the cost of the printed version of the book is a deductible expense, as are the cost of adding hand controls or a wheelchair lift to a vehicle to accommodate a disability. And let's not forget our furry friends. The full cost of acquiring, training, feeding, and medical care for any service animal is fully deductible as a medical expense. To qualify as a service animal, the animal must be specially trained and certified as a service animal to assist a disabled person. Emotional support animals recommended by counselors or therapists to assist with depression or other mental health concerns do not qualify as service animals. And finally, number five, lead-based paint removal. If your home was built before 1978 and you have lead-based paint that is cracked, peeling or otherwise threatens the health of the occupants of the home, particularly children, the cost, which can be significant, of removing lead-based paint is fully deductible as a medical expense. The only thing to note here is that only the removal of the paint is deductible. The cost of wall repairs and repainting is not deductible. As always, there are links in the description if you think you might qualify for one of these deductions and need more information about them. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. 
please share this video with anyone who would find it useful. You can direct any questions, comments, or suggestions to the comment space below. If you prefer, you can email me at taxesoversimplified at gmail.com or you can follow me on Twitter at TaxGeekUSA. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with more of your taxes oversimplified.